Hey guys, what's going on? So if you watch my previous video on this Oofy um, RoboVac 11S, you seen I took the battery out, the brush roller, the brush cover, and the dustbin, along with the front wheel and the side spinner brushes. Those are all over here. And if you didn't see that, you can check that video out. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. But in this video, I'm going to show you all how to remove the right, um, the right and left wheels. So with a standard Phillips head, you're going to remove the four Phillips head screws. Set those over to the side because they will come out and you will lose them. And then you're going to have to contact me and we're going to have to figure out how to get you all some screws if I even have any left because a lot of times people lose screws they request them and then I'm out of them as well or I throw them away so you're gonna take the four Phillips head screws out and these motors and wheel assemblies are a little tricky to get out so you're gonna push down grab the plastic let me make sure y'all can see what I'm doing you know push down grab and slide it out just a little bit and then the spring's gonna fall out so there's a spring that attaches right here. To reattach it, you put it on and slide it in, just like this. And then you put your screws in. But push down, pick up, and wiggle just a little bit. That spring will pop off, and then you have access to this ribbon cable right here. Now be very gentle with this cable. Rock it back and forth, and there's your wheel assembly. Same process for the other side. Four Phillips head screws. And wow, they had a dog that shed a lot. <clears throat> Sorry guys, having some sinus issues. It's that time of year again. Uh, so we'll take these four out. Don't lose them. Push the wheel down, put your finger under the plastic and rock it up very gently. Oops. Push down, rock gently. Comes up, spring detaches, rock the ribbon cable back and forth very gently, and there's the wheel. If you need these parts, let me know. And uh, my link will be in the description below to my eBay channel. Well, eBay, eBay store, not eBay channel. All right, so that's how to remove the wheels, guys. Next, we're gonna be removing the, the bumper. So definitely come back for that video. Um, and I will have a full tear down video uh, time lapse of all this eventually so y'all can see it in action. Thanks for watching.